It's another Monday. Um, I just got home from work. It's going great. Everything I'm doing for the magazine, um, all the reading and research and story stuff I'm doing and event coverage especially, I'm learning about like new places and new restaurants and like just the whole scene of Chicago. Um, I feel like I'm getting an inside look. It definitely feels like a crash course in the city. Oh, also, follow up from my last vlog. Here's my new water bottle. Check it out, check it out. Oh my God, I feel like a YouTube person like putting my hand behind it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a swell, it's their giant one. It keeps my stuff as cold as a Yeti, but you know, I can like tip it upside down and stuff. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend. What else? Oh yeah, everyone was so nice to me about my last, my first vlog. Um, and by everyone, I mean the 10 friends I commissioned to watch. So shout out to you guys. It's not that I expect people to be mean or judgmental, but you know, just putting yourself on video and talking to it and putting it out there in the universe is a little intimidating. So that's why I send it to people I love. Seeing for myself how far I've come in terms of just like self-love and confidence and just trying things is awesome. Um, so I definitely think I'm gonna keep going and anything just for, just to make the 10 friends I told to watch this, watch this. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a good self growth exercise as well. So if nothing else, I'll get to always look back and see what I was up to and be so I can just continue working on, you know, pushing myself to be out of my comfort zone. So um, I just finished walking around the Art Institute of Chicago, which is apparently one of the top rated museums like in the world, according to their front door and Travelocity. But yeah, as for now, to my favorite part of visiting museums, going to the gift shop, AKA the only reason why I come. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I think I'm gonna head there and then I'll see where else the day takes me and obviously I'll take you guys with me. Also check out my shirt, it says, don't let idiots ruin your day. That's just like, sound life advice. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I told my niggas if you hold me back, from pursuing ain't no coming back. Uh, we go get these trees, now watch me do this that. Uh, make these money season, and watch them glue it back. I told my niggas if you hold me back, from pursuing ain't no coming back Pick your poison, tell me what you do with that Make these money season, watch them ruin packs I told my niggas if you hold me back uh, Imagine rock up in that field where options ain't so audible Problems steady falling, the effects is like some dominoes Issues chronological, gotta get that money fast I'm the lit, dominoes Feeling like Osama, got my llama close. Hope them boys don't come knock at my mama door. AK-47 out that window, think I'm paranoid. Oh, also, I got some new sunglasses from Quay. Key? Key? I don't know. But Quay looks like a total diva. Can you even deal? I don't know, I like oversized sunglasses, but this is the biggest I've ever gone, and I think I like them. I'm into them. Nobody can tell when I'm creeping on them, which is 
when you know you've got a quality pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I deleted my Instagram last night and I got a new one. I just felt really limited in it and I don't know, it's stalking like all the wrong people. So this one's gonna be authentic to me, all good vibes. Um, so yeah, my new one is Courtney Alexis Cho and if you wanna follow it, please do. Like I'm still gonna post stuff, I still love like process of editing pictures. Only follow it if you're nice though, like I don't want any assholes on there. <laughs> That money fucked the damn lotto Cruising through the jets with the 12 shot up Most my niggas gone or the jail got them And most these bitches wrong but we still jock them Cocaine in the trap, still rocking Them hood rats in the back Just had some chicken masala and some white rice So I'm feeling like a log And I don't plan on moving for at least the next 30 minutes I want to, before I forget, I wanted to show you guys some stuff I got from Nordstrom the other day. Well, these are from Sephora, but how cute, right? I love like the asymmetrical thing. I don't know, I'm really into that. And then I got these sunglasses. I feel like I'm from the 70s in them. I'll put them on for you guys in a sec. But yeah, <clears throat> it was between this and like a pair that looked like this, but they, the rims were yellow and I just felt like, I don't know, that was not a good look on me. And then I got this cute purse because I only have like big bags here and I just want something small for when I'm walking around um, and like just having my wallet and stuff. Let me just... Can't get a shot with no reflection. Okay, well, this is what they look like. Oh, here, this is better. Um, like I wish you guys could see without this reflection. It's haunting my soul, but... Yeah, I don't know. I love them. And I just feel like fashion these days, like people are trying so much more stuff and I love it. Like, I don't know. You would not see these in a Nordstrom's even like five months ago, I feel like. But yeah, love. Also, the Nordstrom guy I was buying this from and I was like, oh, are these weird? Like, be honest. He was so fantastic and he, he's actually the one who like convinced me to get these, but he was saying um, that actually like he had coworkers who were wearing them indoors. <laughs> and I don't think I have that kind of confidence going, but they're a cool new sunglass look for me. We'll see if I can grow some balls to <sighs> rock them inside, but I don't know, that's like not really my thing. Yeah. On this journey we call life. It's always gonna be obstacles, roadblocks. Things trying to hold you back. Just keep pushing. Don't let that stop you. Never give up. Stay chasing money trees. Don't let nobody tell you can't do it. Keep going. Guess who I just ran into? <laughs> You are running back. First you walk, work, go check. Break you all the spell of run that don't back. Apparently they're like Chicago hopping, which just makes my life. I am so relieved Gorilla and Iron Man are alive and well. I like first noticed because I was walking down um, Michigan Ave and I heard like rap music and I was like, mm. and then I saw Iron Man busting a move and I was like, oh my God, where's the gorilla? And then he was like, I got footage of him creeping away into like some shed. And I'm assuming it's to like change out of his outfit because he was already in his outfit. Maybe he's just, you know, done for the day. Personally, I think they're better as a duo, so I was bummed I didn't get to see them both, but I mean, Iron Man was killing it. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys that breaking news so that you guys can sleep well tonight as well, just like me. Um, don't worry, they live.
Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to say shout out to Drake. Drake Buxton. Follow her on Instagram at Drake Bucks. <laughs> For she just texted me because I sent her the or I told her that the link to watch my vlog is in the bio of my new Instagram and she just sent me <laughs> a text that was like, Court, this is what comes up when I click on the bio on your link. And it was like a link to this girl. Oops. It was a link to this hairdresser that I found on Instagram that has absolutely nothing to do with like my personal channel. And so it was just like this hairdresser's video with 5,000 views <laughs> talking about who knows what. Because I didn't even actually watch that video, so I don't even know how that got linked. Shout out to Drake for saving my bias. The next batter, here to shatter, your black tur, it doesn't matter. Skinny your fat or light skin, the black baby, I drop these. Beneath with my me, screaming, I pop I love it when they call me big pop, but I only smoke blunts if they roll prop. But look, I got ya caught up with the drunk flow. Fuck taekwondo, I told a faux fo For niggas getting mad, cause they bitch chose me. A big black motherfucker with G, you see. All I do is separate the game from the truth. Big bang boots from the Bronx to Bolivia. Getting physical like Olivia New. Tricks up my click dick all day with no trivia. So give me a hoe, a bank roll, and a bag of weed. I'm guaranteed to fuck her till her nose bleed. Even if the new man's a certified Mac, you get that H-Town in ya. You. you want that old thing back? The way my pockets swell to the rim with Benjamins, another hunts in the crib. Please send it in. I fuck non stop, lick my lips a lot. Used to lick the clips a lot, but licking clips has to stop. Cause y'all don't know how to act when the tongue goes. Okay, so I'm FaceTiming with my boyfriend. I feel like I need a tripod thing to hold this up. Oh wait, can you bring the selfie stick? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That, cause, cause, I, cause people have really short ones. I see the vloggers have just mini sticks that they hold. So, yeah. cause holding this no. is like. I can definitely bring that, do not worry. I just feel like the blonde doesn't really match me anymore. And I want to go long and dark. So, now I think like my next thing, I want to go long, or like long and layered. So maybe like, what do you think, down to here? I'd say right at chest level. Yeah, long, and then I want to like have a lot of long layers, still center parted. I kind of want to grow out my bangs like this, and then maybe do like long waves. Before I came out to see you, when I had blonde, I had brown. So I don't even think I've been black since freshman year. So it's gonna look completely different. You're gonna look I know, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, and I was just telling him I'm going to George the Salon, and it has zero bad Yelp reviews, dude. Well, what's funny is there's always, no matter where you go, there's always at least one bad Yelp review. No matter where you go, early. Yeah. Because they master their craft in that one thing, so it's like you'll have six masters. It was forged out of celebrity clientele. Oprah's been there, Cindy Crawford's been there. I just think it's better to get a really good color, get a really good cut, 
have the template be fine and then it'll be easier to maintain. Since I'm gonna, after I go back dark, I'm probably not gonna be able to go light for a while because I wanna let my hair rest. It's just, I wanna do it right. I'm going Thursday at noon and I don't have work Thursday, so I'm so excited. It's time for me to shed my skin. So basically, long story short, this is all to say next time you see me, I'm gonna have a completely different do. Next time you see me. Well, you'll see me later. I just wanna let you guys know that. Ah, stay tuned. <laughs>